so let's see where these guys go. So we're going to wait for the guy to come out here again. We're going to nail him. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right. How you doing, Bobby? How you doing, buddy? You okay? You want to play a little... You want to play a little catch? A little, uh... Little catch Bobby? There we go. Throw Bobby! Oh, he likes that. That makes him so happy. Uh, I'm actually low on food. I hope I don't have to eat him today. Anyway, guys, welcome back. Last video. We went to the mine and we came back with a decent amount of, uh, of materials. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, right now, number one thing. One of you guys told me in the comments, phenomenal idea. Phenomenal idea, right? And that phenomenal idea idea is when I go into the mine, I should bring a mortar and pestle. And the reason I should bring a mortar and pestle is because I, I can craft uh, uh, this stuff and this stuff, the sulfur and the salt, saltpeter. Yep. The saltpeter. Someone said this is uh, potassium nitrate, but it's a saltpeter there. So anyway, uh, I can craft that stuff together and make some things. Uh, I guess gunpowder maybe I can make. I'm not really sure. Maybe we should, uh, do we have enough? You know what? I don't think I have enough rocks. For the mortar and pestle. I think I need eight. Maybe we can grab some rocks and make that mortar and pestle. I'm kind of curious. Now, one thing you got to worry about with the mortar and pestle is if the mortar and pestle runs... It does It does come with durability, right? And if the mortar and pestle... I'm sorry about the dark video, but uh, this shouldn't take too long. If the mortar and pestle uh, wears out while you're crafting something, you will lose everything you were crafting in that crafting session. Um, it happened to me, and it made me very, very sad. I never used the damn thing again. Um, <laughs> we will, though. We'll bring it. I mean, because I was, I was like, making chairs and stuff to pass the time to get my stamina back. And this dude's like, nah, man. Uh, just, you know, craft the gunpowder or whatever, you know. And uh, that's how you do it. And that makes such good sense because that's why we're getting that stuff anyway. I believe it is for gunpowder, right? I don't know what else like, I'd be making with it. But let's go ahead and make a mortar and pestle right now and, and check this out. This is not what this video is going to be about today, though. This video is going to be about an update that just went live, okay? Now, one, part of this update is you can now use a uh, sledgehammer to get sticks and leaves from the trees, which is pretty freaking badass. Now, does that mean we're not going to get sticks and leaves from the tree any, trees anymore um, using the axe? I don't know. Because I'll probably just continue cutting down the trees because I need the I need the logs anyway. But it is pretty nice um, to be able to get that stuff. Uh, but the the really important thing is there's there's now more commands you can give to the NPCs. And I'm not positive, guys, but I think I think we might have a command to have the NPCs chop down trees for us. Okay, uh, I know, I know. We're gonna find out today. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, rescue somebody. Okay, uh, so what am I gonna need to rescue someone? I'm gonna need a lot of arrows, basically, and I'm gonna need a bow. The bow will be fine. The arrows will be good. Um, I really wish I had some more ammo. I wish I, had, uh, I wish I had a, a rifle. I could probably grab a rifle before I go. I probably should. I probably should. So, yeah. So I'm gonna grab a rifle before we go, and I'll show you where that is. It's up in the, it's up in them there hills somewhere. We'll we'll get that together. Uh, but first, I'm gonna make a mortar and pestle. All right, and like I said, you can use this um, grinder used for grinding, and you can use this while you're, you know, want to pass time while you're, while you're, you know, mining and stuff. It's such a good idea. I can't, I can't believe I didn't think of it. Well, well let's face it, I miss a lot of good ideas. It's just a great idea, and um, I just, I love it. So, how do you do this again? I don't remember. Um, now, yeah, now that we have it, now we can make the gunpowder. See, wait, crafting material. So far. Oh, you got to turn it into powder first. And look, this takes 10 minutes each. So there you go. All right, I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to be wasting time here. Uh, one problem we do have with what we're going to be doing today is I am starving and I don't have a lot of food. This is the last piece of food I have. But I really, really want to get this. Uh, I really want to get that. I really want to rescue somebody today. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's uh, let's sleep four hours. We'll get out, we'll get out there early. And uh, I'm just going to try not to waste any, like, any food at all. So... Uh, it's going to be a little dark. Of course, I forgot to turn off the torches because why wouldn't I have? Um, I always forget that, so whatevs. I'm not going to sweat it anymore. It is what it is. One thing I do not like about this update is the cars are flipping over at the smallest, you know, little thing. Like, these cars are flipping. Uh, at least this truck. I'm not sure. Maybe it's top-heavy because I have so much stuff in the back. I don't know. Um, but this thing's flipped, like, three times already. And, like, a couple times, like, it, I didn't even really hit anything. It's just kind of... It just kind of went, you know, crazy on its own. So, you know, what are you going to do? 
I'm probably gonna have to go up in those woods. Uh, is it up there? Yeah, I think it's I think it's on the top of this mountain to my left, and I'm just gonna have to go up there on foot. Because I'm telling you, the second you get you get in any kind of hill with this thing, it's gonna flip. I'm surprised it hasn't flipped already and rolled right into the <laughs> right into the lake. You know, um, just save, guys. Make sure you save. Have I hit that camp yet? It might be worth checking it out. I'm going to actually turn this off right here. And I'm going to go up there and... Uh, no, actually, we could still drive a little bit. But let's hit this camp really quick. Yeah, I did hit this camp already. That was probably the one I hit off camera that I told you guys about uh, a couple videos back. All right, so let's see if we can get up here. All right, yep, okay. Where are we? I'm trying to get my bearings. I don't recognize this area, probably because it's so dark. we got to be careful, because there is a... Oh, that's the, um... Alright, I know where I am. That's the, the no-tell motel. So, I, I would just cut the video right now, because I'm just going to be driving to a place. But, you guys don't know where the place is, so it might be a good idea to, to go with you. Um, just in case you want to know where... I mean, I'm, do you guys want to know where an M4 is? Or an M16, whatever you want to call it? Alright, you see that big mountain up there? I think that's where we got to go. God, it's so dark. Even with the headlights on, it's it's like pitch dark. We should check this place out. Hey! Hey! This is new! There, ne there never used to be a chicken coop here! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Alright, we got a hammer. And anything in here? Nope. Nope, nope. I've got all the loot. All the loot containers. Well, not all of them, but most of the loot containers are just empty. Like, most of the time. Alright, I can't get that out. I don't feel like dealing with it. I'll come back some other time. Come on, get in the truck, dude. Is it because I got the... Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, here you are. You know what, guys? I was just thinking. I was just thinking. I should probably check this uh, trunk really quick. Yep. There we go. Now we got some loot. There we go. Now you should probably check in here, too. Okay, nothing in there. All right, so we're going to go over to the right. Because I think that would probably be the best way to get up this hill. And you know what? Stop, 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 save. Stop, 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 save. Guys, write that down. And make sure you write stop three times or it's not going to sink in. Uh, at least it doesn't for me. All right, so let's come on down here. Okay, yeah, we're going right for that hill right there. The, in case you're wondering where we are, the right, the White House is right to the left. The, the White House is right to the left. Oh, my God. Now, I want to kind of check that cabin, but uh, we got to hurry. I, I want to rescue someone today. And um, that means we got we to gotta get some, some stuff done here. Now, I'm going to try and drive up there. But this is probably going to go bad. Um, yeah, I can pretty much guarantee you this is going to go bad. But, that's what the save feature is for. The developer knows that there's a lot of weird stuff going on with his game. So they give us that save feature. Now, should I just stop right here? Alright, that's far enough. That's far enough. Alright, now there's usually bears around here. So we do need to be prepared for that. Okay? But, with ha what's happening is there's going to be a cabin up here. And in that cabin is going to be an M4. Um, hopefully I won't need the M4 for the, um... For the bandits, I mean, that's what we do, guys. For those of you who don't, who haven't played this game before or seen my videos, what we do is we go to bandit camps and we kill all the bandits and then we rescue a survivor. And that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'd really like to have an M4 with me. I don't think I'm going to need it, but it's always good to have it. Just got to watch out for bears. It's like there's any zombies in here. And this is not where the M4 is. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, a sleeping bag. I'll take that. Nothing and nothing. Alright, well, I think there's another cabin up here somewhere. I just don't know where. I'm gonna head this way. Alright, guys, I got a bear on my ass. Can I jump up this? Yes. Oh, whoa, boy. That didn't work. Come on, get up there. Nope, can't jump up there. Okay, we gotta keep going. Hopefully that bear gets stuck on there. That's the cabin right there, by the way. Oh, my goodness. All I hear was thump, 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 thump. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Freaking bear. And I gotta go back that way to get out of here. That's all right. What are you gonna do? You know, if you want the uh, if you want the goodies, you gotta you know be prepared to sacrifice or put yourself in a little bit of danger. Oh, okay. I thought it was more bears. I could just make a fence there. Should I make a fence? Oh, oh no. You know what? Let's not make a fence. Let's kind of look around. Nah, we don't have any. I'm looking for those uh, for those movable water storage thingies. 
Because you can just move those right in the way. Uh, Alright, we're well, if I make a fence. The fences are expensive, that's the thing. I'm not making a fence, the hell with that. Um, we're just going to try and use the bow here. Of course, I don't have any arrows. Where, why would I have any arrows? Where are all my arrows? Alright, we got to make some arrows, I guess. I'm worried about these guys coming out and killing me when I'm making arrows. Remember that happened last time? So let's come right over here, and let's try and make some arrows. Eh, it's not good. Nope. Alright. We are wasting a lot of hunger and thirst, unfortunately, but... Not that thirst is a big deal. It's really just the hunger that I'm worried about. Hopefully there'll be some food in here. That'd be wonderful. All right, so now we go to equipment and add arrows. Wait, there is arrows in there. All I do is press R, and I could have switched. Ah, oh well. We needed more anyway, so no harm, no foul. All right, so let's see if we can nail these guys. Oh. Uh. Oh, they can't move. I'm not sure if they can't move because my game's bugged, or if they can't move because... They're stuck. Yeah, it's, they can't move because they're stuck. That was the problem. Freaking Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Oop. Come on, buddy. I don't have all day. Okay, he's down. Switch again. Damn it. This will be a good warm-up for when we uh, fight the uh, when we fight the bandits because we're going to be using mostly bows. Damn, man. Dude, you're a punk. You know that? I really don't want to get hurt, though, because if I get hurt, then I got to go home and rest for the day. God, you got to be kidding me. I have no chance against the bandits. <laughs> Not with this aim. Finally, god damn it. Thing is, um, I can now get a lot of those arrows back. At least I should be able to. Should be a good amount of arrows in here. Yep. There we go. Pick up all the stuff. I really wish there was some food in here. I'm not gonna lie. Man, not one stitch of food in here. What are you doing to me, game? Oh, there's the M4. Beautiful. It is an M4, right? I believe it's an M4. Yes, M4. Uh, let's throw the potatoes out and loot this. And we're definitely going to grab those, man. We're not letting those go by. And I don't know why I'm looting in here because there's going to be nothing. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right. So I could cook the potatoes, but that's going to take a while. I really don't want to do that right now. I want to go get some bandits. All right, guys, there might be some food around here, so I'm just going to kind of look really quick. Now, you might be saying, well, there's blueberries on the ground. You know, get some blueberries, right? Um, the blueberries are are virtually useless. They give you, like, almost nothing. It's not even worth the time it takes to bend over and pick them up. You probably... There he is. You probably burn off more calories bending over to pick up the blueberries than they actually give you. Total waste of time. So, I will not be doing that. But I will be taking all this stuff. Getting awful close to that bear. Okay, good. We got enough food to get us through the day. That's all I wanted. Now let's see if we can avoid this bear. Alright, guys. We are back on the main road right by the garage. And my truck's acting kind of funny. Looks like the right side, the front right side is kind of up in the air. But anyway, uh, <laughs> there's three bandit camps in the game. Uh, there's one we just passed, uh, kind of by the White House. There's one that is... Actually, where is the third one? Oh, yeah, there's one by the city way up north, which we'll get to at some point. But we're going to go for the one in the middle because I find it the easiest one to take. And um, I want to rescue somebody, right? Uh, so we can get our first NPC. I think that will be really cool. I think I tried to put that on top of a vehicle earlier. Um, and the one that's in the middle is just up here on the right. I forget quite which turn it is. I'm not sure if it's the first turn or the second. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Because this has a road that goes um, up and to the left, and it has another road that goes straight. If you take the road straight, it goes right into the bandit camp. And obviously, we do not want to do that. We're going to come over here. And this is going to be our base of operations. 
Okay. So uh, do everything I want. Well, let's make some more. Uh, let's make some more uh, sticks and arrows, because that would be ideal. So we're just gonna go ahead and make all of these. Um, there's no reason for us to like pass any time in this video. So it's not like we have to save sticks or arrows. We just want a lot of arrows because I miss a lot. First of all, these are just regular crappy old arrows, right? Um, man, that's a lot of time. Yeah, we got time. These are regular crappy arrows, right? These arrows are garbage. Um, I think you have to hit them in the head to get a one-shot kill, and even then it might not work. Um, I'm going to miss a lot. These are disposable. They're just wood, right? Very disposable. So that's why I need a lot of them. And then we're going to go ahead and eat here. And then we're going to save, and then we're going to get into position. It's a little bit late in the day for this, but eh, I think we'll have enough time. All right, there's some zombies in there. I, I do not care. So up there is their, is their uh, headquarters. And we're going to kind of like come up on the hill behind them and we're going to get a good vantage point, man. We're going to be, we're going to be elevated on a hill looking into their base. I mean, yeah, this should, this should work out. Okay. Well, we'll see. We shall see. All right. So now we save again and let's do this. Got to be very careful, man. They start running at you. Yep. They just all spawned in. It looks like there's four of them and they're now going to go to their positions. So we just got to be patient here and uh, see where they go. All right, so this guy's coming out here. All right, so he hears me, but he doesn't know where I am. Is that falling short? I can't tell. Oh, got him. Oh, God, they're running after me in force. Now, you can't, you can't really run away from them because they'll respawn then. You got to kind of stay close. So we'll just kind of hang here for a minute. If you um, if you run back, they'll despawn. And then when you come back up, they'll respawn. They'll all be back full health and everything. So I gotta... It's really hard for me not to run away. So, you know, I'm gonna have to try and fight that. Alright, so I got one of them. And his buddy ran inside. I used more bullets than I needed to. I'm not here to... Be cheap with the bullets, man. Uh, if it keeps me alive, I'm going to use bullets. That's it. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> like, not the FPS part of it anyway. All right. So now we need to add more arrows. And as long as we stay within range, they won't respawn. Okay. So there's one right there. But he's moving. I have to find where the other, where the other ones are. Hmm, I think we'll come over here. Oh yeah, here we go. We should really not shoot that, uh, shoot at them while they're moving. That's a, that's kind of a far shot. I think I'm gonna leave that guy for last. Where'd that other guy go? He just went behind that camper. He should move back into position over there. That's three of them. I killed one. There's two and three. I don't know where the fourth one is. Oh, got him. See if they come out here. Okay, so they're kind of looking for me. I'll just let them kind of look around and... You know, see what's what. Really not like to not use ammo if I don't have to. Now they're going to come back right over in front of me. Damn it. Ah! Got him. I saw the blood. Let's not move back anymore. Oh, they're having trouble getting up here. Bring out a shotgun, dude. He wouldn't bring out a shotgun. I hit number two. I don't I don't know. Maybe I didn't hit it quick enough. Okay, I'm gonna try stealthy one more time. And if that doesn't work, I might just rush in there with my shotgun. I think rushing in there with the shotgun is a bad move. Um, but at the same time, you know, there's only so much of this sneaky crap I can deal with. <laughs> you know? Especially when it's not working. 
So let's see where these guys go. So we're going to wait for the guy to come out here again. We're going to nail him. Um, I don't really have... Uh, maybe I should... No, the bow's good. Okay, so two is the shotgun, three is the AK, the uh, M M16. Let's just remember that. The arrow, the arrows really pull to the left. Okay. Okay. I was going for body shots there. No point in going for headshots with a shotgun. You know? At least not in, like, real life. You know, the spread takes care of things for you. Um, so that's cool. Alright. I don't know if there's anybody else out here. I did get two of them, right? Yes, I did. I'm not good with, with um, uh, iron sights. Because, like, you see how the gun, like, it, it really takes up a lot of room. And, like, I can't see what's right in front of me except for that little hole because the gun's in the way. So, I'm just not good with iron sights. Maybe I should try hip firing next time. Well, let's, might as well loot them, right? Okay, as usual, they have garbage. Oh, I got three of them. Nice. Probably rush in there on the last guy. Yeah, they, they usually are not worth the, the bullets you put into them. Which is kind of a problem. Alright, so there should only be one guy left. Yeah, this stuff is... <laughs> I got a couple pieces of fruit and some gunpowder and one bullet. <laughs> Not worth it. Alright. So there should only be one guy left. There he is. Cool. That worked out well. Okay, so is he the last one? Looks like it. Right? Right. Let's just check over here just to make sure. I don't need to be startled. I'm so startled. Alright, let's see what he had. I can't believe that you guys even had a gun. Okay, so at least he had a gun. Uh, Alright, you know, that's something. That's, that's you know, that's alright, I guess. I mean, meh. You know? Hey, what's up, Scott? How's it going, buddy? Rescue Scott. Proceed. Yeah, I've, I've never gotten Scott to work for me. I rescued him once and he was bugged, right? Scott has been rescued. Will you take her to camp to join your crew? Uh, soldier, gun trained. Yes, I will. Okay. Oh, look at this. Another backpack upgrade. We only need about one or two more. That is awesome. All right, shotgun. Uh, oh, here we go. Now we hit the jackpot. Let's loot this place up. Loot it up. We got some boots. Hell yeah, I'll take some boots. What's in a boot? And can we fit any more uh, arrows in here? Not really. Uh, yes. I guess I'll take the, the carrots. You can make some kind of stew. The problem is the stew goes bad so fast you wouldn't even eat it. So Now, if I come back here like tomorrow, they'll have respawned. So I should probably take apart these cars while I'm here and loot everything I can possibly carry. Uh, there's another truck up here, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got some gas. That's all right. Uh, do I have my gas? I do have my gas can on me. All right. Take it out. 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 Okay. And um, I'm going to eat this. Just to get it out of my inventory. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Is there anything else over here? It does not look like it. It looks like this place is just about looted, with the exception of taking apart the cars. I don't really need another plastic bottle, so I'm going to leave that for now. And, uh, yeah, alright, let's take apart some cars. Alright, guys, in order for Scott to be able to join us, he needs to have... We need to have a building, like an actual base. Now, what we're in right now, it, it's, it's not a base, right? It's kind of, um... It's just a barn. <laughs> so, uh, we need to get a base so we can have Scott join us, so we can see if he can chop down trees. So, let's go ahead and make some room here. Yeah, it's good enough. And, uh, we're gonna do... Oh, we're gonna need a hammer, aren't we? Yes, we are. So, uh, basically, in order to make a base, what you need to do is you need to take... Uh, I mean, you could take over a base that's already established. Like, you know, um, you've seen them as I've been going by them, shelters and stuff. Or you can make a small cabin. And I'm gonna make the small cabin because I don't have anything in the area uh, that I can, you know, do that with. Um, I have an idea of how this base is gonna work out. 
uh, not the base, the compound, right? Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through that. Uh, we're gonna have to pass the night though. This is um, I forgot. It takes like eight freaking million hours to build one of these cabins. So ooh, hold on. Is that mist or is that just darkness? Now, before it gets dark, let me show you how we're going to build this. So, anything on the outside of the fence, I'm going to just make, uh, like, an actual, like, big fence. Big wall, right? Like these things. So, and it looks like we can put them inside the fence as well, which is cool. Um, so, just go all the way around there. Um, it should be able to go behind here. Might be, make it a little tricky over here, but I think we can make it work. And, uh, yeah, it's going to go all the way around. And where it's going to stop is going to be right here. This is where it's going to stop. Um, I'll probably have it come out like this a little bit. Um, yeah, this is giving me a problem, of course. Uh, yeah. Well, however I can do this. Can this, um... No? Yeah, this is going to this is gonna give me probably stupid hay bales. Maybe I could just do it right here. No, that's going to give me a problem too. Well, the idea is to have the, the wall come out this way. I don't know. Maybe I could... Maybe I could put a wall right here and then like have this come over here. I don't know. But this is where this is where the base is going to stop. And then if I can't get a I wanted a wall to go up here and then over to here and then that way. If I can't do that, then I'll I'll have a wall going from here to here and then from here to here and I'll just kind of block it off there. And um, I'm pretty sure you can't destroy these hay bales. Yeah. I mean, hay bales like you can't move them. You can't destroy them. They're there forever. You know that. Now, I just want to be clear, guys. I have no idea if this is going to work. I really, really don't. Um, you know, the developer put up a video of Scott cutting down trees like a week ago, and then he did an update where he said that the, the NPCs would have more interactions, like you could give them more stuff to do, but he didn't quite say what. So we'll just have to see. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, make this your active base. There we go. Building permission manager. Check mark person who's permitted to enter the shelter. Scott, you are okay to enter the shelter. Scott, stop. Hold on, buddy. All right, so press number to interact. Talk, no, inventory. And let's give him a melee weapon, I guess. And then talk. Press number to interact. Really, so that's it? He can't, I thought, I thought we were supposed to have more ways to um to make him do stuff. All right, guys, I just went back and read the update notes again. Apparently, um, he put work in progress for the, uh, for the extra um, tasks you can give these guys. So I misread that. That's on me. That's bad. That's my bad, brah. Um, but I'm still glad I went and rescued him. I mean, we need somebody because now I can have him do stuff, right? I can have him make nails. I can have him um, craft stuff for me. Uh, you know, he should be okay. He shouldn't get hurt or anything. I don't know where he's going. He's going to take a leak. I should probably leave him alone. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.